how you can embed a Microsoft Word document into a Canvas assignment so that your students can type in it and submit it to you for grading. Now, before you start making your assignment, please note that in order to attach a rubric to a Microsoft Word document assignment, you do need to make the rubric first. So let's just, I'll just add my rubric, but I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't and the workaround at the end if you have to do it again. So I've got this blank assignment. In theory, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna type up my directions, how you get your students to submit the correct one. So we come down here to submission types, we're gonna choose external tools. We'll click that find button, scroll down until you see my, or Office 365 cloud assignment. Now, sometimes it doesn't load. This one's loading okay, but if it doesn't, just exit out, re-click on the Office 365 and make it work. Go ahead and find the assignment you want your students to type into. So I've got this study guide I want them to type into. Okay, so it's thinking. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. If it doesn't work, once again, just exit out, try again. We say select, set whatever assignment. So if I want a due date, when it's available, all the normal stuff you do when making an assignment, and hit save. From here, it will load. Now, it looks like this. You're like, well, they still can't type in it. They're going to click this edit. Now, for them, they do have two buttons that you don't see. So they have an open button and a submit button. If you notice, you can't show this one as a student view version because, oh, it's, well, that would help. Let me publish the module real quick. Okay, so I published the module. Come on. So I published my module. But what we're going to discover is that even when published, you as the teacher, when you go into student view, you are going to notice, so the assignment appears, you can't, you get this weird message. This is because when you're in student view, you don't have an Office 365 account associated with you. So your two options are just to tell your students, okay guys, when you're looking at your assignment, you have two blue buttons right here one of them says open and one of them says submit or your other option have a student share their screen so the students can see it together clicking open will just take this inside of canvas and make it full screen into its own assignment obviously submitting is going to turn in their assignment if they want to just edit once they click open they want to make sure they're choosing to edit in the browser so they'll click that edit button now they can start typing their information in What's really great is that if you have any PowerPoints embedded or any, sorry, any YouTube videos embedded in as well, if I scroll down here, the videos actually will play right inside the Word document. So my student can sit here and watch the video they need to answer Lights. the question. Okay. Now, sometimes students get an error message. Once they've clicked open, the blue open button at least once, they do have access to this in their Office 365. So how they can get to it if they click the Office 365 button or if they go through their Office 365 account through their email, through their drive, but it automatically creates this Canvas folder for them. They'll click Canvas. They will find whatever class it is. So in this case, it is this one here. And because they've opened it, they will now have their own version. When they click on it, it takes them right to Word. I believe with the new update of Canvas and the Microsoft, there should be a blue submit button right on their screen. Once again, I am not in the student's actual assignment, so I can't confirm this right here. Can't show it to you on this one, but your students either should have a button up here to hit submit when they're done, or they just go back into their assignment and they click submit there. Okay, hope that helped.